Yo yo people, get you in here for another video. So guys, this video is gonna be in Farming Simulator 19 and today we are gonna be working as a firefighter at our brand new fire department. Uh, so yeah, if you guys missed it, uh, not too long ago we moved over from the Nebraska Lens map over to uh, Paradise Racing because this map is just way better for doing this kind of firefighter roleplay. Uh, there's so much more on it and it has fires built in, which is even cooler. Um, but yeah, so we moved everything over. It was lots of fun, but there's something that we do not have. And this is something we didn't have in the past either. And that is in our ambulance. Uh, if we look in the back doors, actually here, you know what, let's pull this forward and then I can show you guys properly what I'm talking about. But we currently, are missing a stretcher and obviously ambulances need stretchers uh, it is very important that they have them but yeah as you guys can tell there is nothing back here but it's not to say we can't add a stretcher back here so pretty much guys this was made by Lambo mods same with this map same with all these vehicles uh, so yeah if you want to get these join us patreon page links gonna be down below uh, they become fully public after a month but if you want to get them right now join um, yeah, join when this video is done, I guess. Uh, but yeah, anyways, so he's added stretchers for this ambulance. And we can actually go in it. Uh, if we go multiplayer in the future, we can have other people join on in as well. It's very, very cool. So what I'm going to do is head on over back to our shop. And then we will grab hopefully two stretchers since we do have two ambulances here. There's this one and then there is another one. Uh, yeah, right here underneath the fire truck. Very, very cool how that works. Uh, yeah, okay. So I'm going to go ahead, grab that, and I'll see you once we are over there. Alrighty, so we are over here now, and I know it looks like I am sun tanning, uh, but no, I am laying on a stretcher. I guess it's a multi purpose kind of thing. Now, something to note is these do have engines in them, so you can move them around uh, if you are by yourself and you still want to be laying on top. But the other option is you could have someone use heavy lifting mod to move them around. Uh, Lambo actually did mention that he does strongly recommend you have the lift anything or heavy lifting mod installed uh, because these things do need to be a certain weight in order to properly sit in the ambulance. But anyways, we're going to lower down this truck bed. This was also made by Lambo Mods, I believe. Very, very cool. And let's throw these in here. So these do lower down a little bit. If we go like that, there we go. And they will strap down as well. So we should be able to stack these in the bed here. Let's, we'll, we'll, we'll see what we can do. Uh, okay, come on, move this forward a bit more. Uh, can I, there we go, perfect. Uh, a little bit more, wouldn't hurt. Oh, you know what, that might be, might be the max. Okay, let's see if we fold this up, whoops. <laughs> if we fold this up, there we go, it sits in nicely. And it does strap down and everything, but let's go ahead, lower it this down, and we will throw it on top. Now I know this might not be the most realistic way to transport these. I honestly don't know how you would. Probably just pick them up in the ambulance directly, uh, or get maybe a bigger trailer. Uh, I don't know. Anyways, let's go ahead. We're just gonna do it the gear plays way and stack them on top of each other. Should work. Hopefully that doesn't smack through there. If we strap it down, should prevent that. There we go, and yeah, it straps down perfectly. So, let's head on over to our boat. We will be taking these across with kind of like a ferry style boat. I know it's actually not a ferry, it's a military boat, um, but it does the purpose. Transports vehicles and everything. So here we go, and we'll just pull this right on top like so watch our speed okay i really like this truck it's quite cool and yeah i believe it's made by lambo mods uh actually you know what i see his little image there so it definitely was can go like that uh now we do need to turn on this boat it does take a minute to get started so we can fold up uh the side for now there we go and can we strap down the whole vehicle Ooh. Okay, I don't know if it's the vehicle strapping or if it's just the stretchers, uh, but that does work. So you know what we can actually do? Wait, was there another one? Uh, okay, you know what we can try doing? 
let's go like this. Um, yeah, okay, the vehicle straps down too. Perfect. Good to know. And yeah, we should be ready to go now. So let's get moving. We can honk the horn. I don't know what all this dust is coming from. Is it our truck? Or the stretchers? Or I, I really am not sure what that's actually from. Very interesting. Okay. Well, you know what? Maybe they're a bit dusty. Who, who knows? <laughs> we will just drive on over, though. Should be a pretty nice, gentle ride. Uh, now, this thing goes really fast, so I'm kind of debating just going full speed. Yeah, you know what? Let's do it. This goes 198 miles an hour. Let's let's get it up there. There we go. Now, when you're going this fast, it is a bit hard to control. Yeah, 198. Wow. I would definitely not want to be hit by this thing. <laughs> Honestly, if this was going a mile an hour, I still wouldn't want to be hit by it. Here we go. Ooh, watch the buoy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh. Oh, we smacked into it. Okay. We're, we're good, though. Um, yeah, that's a little scary. Okay, here we go. And there is another one of these boats right there, which is pretty cool. I'm going to try turning this around to make it easier to back up in the future. Here we go. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Completely hit that. We'll back this up. Now, guys, we will be taking out a fire this video. Don't worry about that. Uh, there is definitely going to be or some kind of emergency response incident that we need to go to. But yeah, not quite yet. We're still in the setup phase. There we go. We can lower this down. Perfect. Okay, we kind of shifted it a bit. Move the straps. Turn off the vehicle. And we should be good to back this up. Let's see. Yep, there we go. Okay, so what I'm going to do is drive over to the big hill. If you don't know what hill I'm talking about, then I recommend you watch uh, the last video I uploaded in this fire department series. Uh, but yeah, when I'm doing that, here's a message from our sponsor. Join Lava Mod's Patreon page to instantly receive access to some amazing modding creations. You will get early access to Lambo, Winston, and Beard Shot's awesome ideas. On top of all that, you will get cool textures and other unique modding tools. Join today using the link below. Alrighty guys, so we are at the hill. Hopefully this can make it up. I think it will. Got some pretty beefy tires on here. And I think we've got the engine upgrade option as well, which is pretty cool. Yeah, tears through the mud. Really, really good mudding vehicle. If you guys are ever looking for one. Uh, plus actually, the guys, this map has, I think, most mud out of any map in the game. Uh, I'm saying that pretty confidently because it is covered with mud it's crazy okay i accidentally jumped in the stretcher there we're good yeah i'll show you guys when we're driving actually how much mud there is actually that's another thing too no matter what call we get today i'm probably not going to know how to get to the location that well so we might have to cut out a bit of stuff uh just keep that in mind it is a pretty detailed map there's lots on here it's a very big map as well so, yeah, I'm still learning it myself, especially like the locations where fires can spawn. But here we go. This will be my first time ever trying to load this up into the ambulance. So this is going to be very interesting. Uh, let's turn around this way. I think that would be best. Alrighty. I want the wheels to be straight. That looks good. Okay, so we can open up these doors. And I guess lower this down. Probably make the most sense. Then bring it inside. Like so. Now hopefully the ambulance can pull this thing. Oh, it is heavy. Lambo was right about that. Definitely is heavy. But as you said, it's that's what it needs to be like uh, in order to work. Okay, so there is straps in here. We will jump on in and go like that. Close up the doors. I guess we probably could have raised the stretcher. Now that it's in there, but it's all good. Then back this thing up. Ooh, we're getting our weird speed wobbles. Still don't know exactly why that happens. It's one of those weird bugs in the game. Yeah. All right. Anyways, back this up. Here we go. Oh, come on. I think the height of this... Yeah. We'll just push it back ourselves. Uh-oh. Um... 
close your eyes, maybe? Let's, yeah, let's just pretend I didn't close the door on it. Um, okay, yeah, let's just kind of push that there. Close the door, nothing happened, it's all good. Uh, and yeah, then we have our other stretcher, and I'll go load that up right now. Uh, but when I'm doing that, we will also just kind of wait for the next call. Or for our first call, I guess. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a sec. Alrighty guys, we have the alarm sounding. Uh, there is a fire, so let's go ahead, see where it's at. On the map, we have a blinking dot. That is a first, so scrapyard at a location, which is right there. And right now, we are, I believe, here. So we need to find our way to go all the ways down. It's going to be a little bit crazy. Uh, that's a very cool feature that's built in the map. Okay, come on. I, I just went through the door. There we go. Don't know why that was struggling. Uh, but yeah, so I think we'll take a ladder truck there. Why not? I don't see a reason to not do that. Uh, this thing is fully filled up. Here we go. Let's turn on the lights. Very, very cool. And we should be all good to go. So last thing we have to do is turn on the siren. There we go. Hopefully you guys can hear it. Now I did turn down my game volume a bit. So if it's not super loud, I do apologize. Um, but yeah, how do we get to this location? This is going to be very interesting. Okay, I think we go this way. I could be wrong, but I'm going to place my bets that we go down here. And as you guys can see, there is so much mud on the map. Like, I, I wasn't joking about that. It is filled. <laughs> okay, but here we go. Uh, I guess we can do some first-person action. Now, this vehicle is very, very large, guys. Um, obviously, you guys can tell it is probably one of the biggest vehicles we have in the game. Okay, wait. Where do we go now? Uh, let's go this way. I'm going to hope that this is where we're supposed to be headed. Okay, let's open up the map and just check. Uh, yeah, it does look like it is in the right direction. Oh, you know what? I think I know exactly where we need to go from here. Let's go. Ooh, okay. There it is. I actually thought it was over that way, but no, it's right here. Or at least there is a fire here, so we're going to take this one out. And yeah, it does look to be a scrapyard. Very cool. And that fire is definitely going. How does that even catch on fire? That's what I really want to know. Um, okay, I'm going to... Yeah, I think hitting this with water from up top is actually going to be a good idea. So we'll position uh, backwards like this. And then I want my water hose to be on that side as well. This should be good. We can put down our supports. Because you can hear that fire going already. <laughs> there we go. And uh, we will raise up the ladder. Like so. Okay, let's actually go into the bucket view. Okay, we can lower that down. There we go. And I think we turn on B. Perfect. Okay, let's go out a bit more. Uh, actually, let's go... Now I want to go back in a bit. Okay. I think that should be a good spot. Let's see. Uh, yeah. That does work. We'll move it over just a little bit more. Could be a bit better. Perfect. Okay. And by the way, this ladder, we can fully climb up. Uh, it does work. You can sit in the end. Uh, you can do whatever. Like, it's literally all perfect with collision. So yeah, next thing we need to do is grab our hose from here. And you guys saw it does have a proper animation, a loading screen, shows our gauges. Uh, now what we need to do, we do have a max hose length, and it is spraying. But I want to adjust our our uh, PSI. So what we do for that is use our numpad. So numpad 1 and numpad 3. Numpad 1 lowers it down, numpad 3 raises it. If we go all the ways down, you see that knob turning. Uh, we just have this little kind of uh, sprayer. But then if we raise it all the ways up, we have a lot more water to uh, use. So I'm going to turn down just a little. Uh, a little bit more than that. I think that should be good. Currently this is at 50 PSI. This is very nice. And let's just start hitting this thing. Uh, this fire is definitely roaring. It is not small by any means. Here we go. Perfect. Let's see if we can get this side a bit. 
I feel like the fire has gone down a little, but it is still roaring quite, quite intensely. There we go. How much hose do we have left? Oh, 90% hose used. 92, 99. Okay, so it looks like we can go around this whole thing, which is perfect. There we go. Okay, I'm getting a little bit wet from the sprayer. Actually, you know what? I kind of want to adjust that a little bit. Let's run on over here. Go, 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 go. And put that down. It is heavy, so you can't, like, just run with it. Okay. Go inside. And, yeah, let's get this thing a little lower. Moved over a bit. Uh, yeah, I think that should be better. Let me see how it's hidden. Eh, okay. You know what? Let's actually go extend this out more. Like the ladder itself can go like so. Come on. There we go. Still learning the controls, as I said. That should be good. Are we in the flame? Uh, kind of are. Okay. I'll go like that. And then maybe getting some more height would help. There we go. I think that's a much better spray than what we had going before. And let's just check that. Oh, yeah. Definitely, definitely better coverage. You know what I'm actually going to do? I want to run up top and see, maybe we can spray from here. See if, I just, I don't know, I feel like going from up top helps quite a bit. Let's increase uh, the power of this. And yeah, we are definitely spraying that down. Here we go. Ooh, okay, it is hot. We are very, very close to the flames. There we go. Okay, let's run back down and try going from a different angle. Go like so. There we go. 50% hose length. Not too bad. Wow, we are definitely lowering this flame down a bit. But still not not fully out yet. Alrighty, let's hit it from this side. Now, it definitely has lowered. Should go out pretty soon, I'd say. And it looks like we got the majority of the fire out. Maybe even all of it. Let's keep hosing it down, though. We do not want this to start back up. Okay, watch our water there. I do not want to get sprayed too much. We were really, like, getting soaked earlier. But looking good. Can we go inside at all? Oh, it is hot. Yeah, you know what? It's probably safer if we don't do that. Here, am I, am I stuck? Come on. Come on, game. You got this. There we go. Perfect. And, okay, I think... We are probably, oh, okay, probably about ready to turn off the water. So, yeah, let's go ahead and start packing up. Go over here. Uh, put this away. And now let me adjust our controls here a little. Just reduce it down. Looking good. Okay. Uh, now let's go into our actual controls in the interior. We have a little remote that adjusts this. Turn off the water and we can now move the bucket so here we go move it like so move it over I believe we're going the right way oh okay we kind of passed it go down and move it in like that alrighty uh, now we just have to line it all up and I think I think that's good yeah, it's in the compartment. Yeah, looking pretty solid there. Maybe move it over a little. Yeah, okay. Fold up the supports. You can turn off the lights. And it's time to drive back to the station. So we have successfully taken out that fire. Really, really happy that nothing went wrong there. It was pretty straightforward, which is always welcomed. And we also are still looking really good with our water. This holds so much, by the way. Uh, not as much as our other fire truck. The other fire truck is, like, honestly holding too much. <laughs> but this holds quite a bit. Uh, it does take a few minutes to refill, which is obviously realistic. You would be storing quite a bit of water on your fire trucks. Here we go. Okay, which way do we do this? Uh, was it like this? I feel like we might have went down there. Eh, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll try it out. 
Oh, you know what? No, that's where the mud is. So I think this is right. We'll make a right hand turn up ahead somewhere. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I see the fire station right there. Go through the mud. Okay, it kind of missed most of it. So much on this map. Look at that. Like, it is sinking us down. That's crazy. Go over here. Now, we ended up not even needing our ambulance because there was no injured people there. So that was kind of cool. We only need one fire truck as well, which is uh, quite uncommon. Now, can we... I don't know if we have a skill to do this. Are we able just to back this up? Like so. Here, let me first align it like this. Okay, and then let's go to that camera again. We want to go really close to the ambulance. Okay, we might have actually hit it there. Oh, no, we're still good. And I'm going to say that is as close as I'm willing to go. Yeah, let's see. Ooh, that is perfect, guys. Look at that. Wow. Couldn't have asked for anything better. Then we can close up this door. Now, if we look at our map, hopefully the fire shows that it's taken out. I haven't even checked it out. Yes, it does. Okay, come on, run through here. Why? I did this perfectly fine earlier. I always struggle with doors in this game. Uh, but yeah, scrapyard fire at location A right there is now fully out. Very, very cool. And as you guys can tell, there's a lot of other locations built into the map directly. Uh, not even like having to install additional mods. It's all just here and ready to go, which is very, very nice. Uh, but yeah, that's about it for this video. One thing too I realized is the screen on the computer they did change the tab, guys. It's no longer the Garrett Plays um, video page. It is now uh, Fire Map. So, yeah, pretty cool. Like I said, it has more functionality now. Just probably something most people would have wanted. I, I thought the Garrett Plays videos were completely fine, though. Uh, but, yeah. Anyways, thanks for watching. You guys are awesome. Bye-bye. Want to play games with your friends? Grab a dedicated server from G Portal. Make sure to click the link down below to receive an instant 5% discount.